Hi! In this video we will see the key keyframe animation workflow. So uh, this tool uh, can be found under the render tab. As you can see we will find the keyframe animation icon in here and uh, once we click on this tool we will see that in the bottom of the Rhino Gold interface it will appear the timeline. So in here we will find all the uh, possibilities to create uh, animation using the keyframe. So let's take a look how to use this uh, powerful tool to create uh, videos, to create amazing animations. So the first step probably it's easy to start just with the camera so let's see how we can define the camera traveling and uh, let's say that at this point at the first moment of the animation we have uh, the camera defined exactly in here so as we are seeing the object then if I want to define another position for the camera at this point of the animation I can for instance rotate the camera and what I need to do is define the moment I want the camera at this position and record this position. So as you will see it will appear an icon in the timeline which will allow us to see that we have a new position for the camera at this point. So if we go back when we play the camera will be traveling from the first position to the second position. So let's see then what we can do. Of course any moment we can move the position to any other place. So let's see if I want all this uh, uh, animation, uh, all this camera traveling during all the animation. I just define the position to the last point and when I press play it will be all the animation making the camera traveling. Of course there are uh, several options. We can define many more positions exactly using this same workflow but also we will see that in camera we have the possi other possibilities. So let's see uh, what we can do. We can use a curve so for instance uh, just to show how we can use a curve if I create any curve can be in this case I'm going to create ellipse and I will define the ellipse and of course the position a little bit up and the idea is if I define this curve as the camera curve so I just select the curve in here we will have the camera traveling along this curve during the animation so now if I press play we will see that the camera is following the curve of course uh, any moment we can define any other curve we can change uh, the curve uh, also uh, if I disable it it will follow the directions we defined before in the timeline and there is also the possibility to define uh, the target so by default the target it's the point it's the point zero 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 so it means it's it's the center but of course we can define not only a point, we can define any other point, but we can also define a curve or a object. So I can define objects as the camera target. So I just select object and of course I can select any object. So um, this is the options we have for the camera. We can define the, the, the curve, we can define the target. There is also the possibility to define the first person camera which means that at this moment the camera I'm using in the viewport it's the, the camera I'm going to use to record the animation but of course if I turn off this option we will see that now I can move freely my viewport and the camera will be in here so now I can play with the camera position easily and of course I can change the, the viewport I can rotate and this allows us to, to control other parameters. So at this point I'm going to turn on the camera as it was before. The, the camera target point I will leave it exactly in the center. Of course if we want to select any other point we just click in here and we can pick any other point to be the animation. Of course we can change the, 
the view for instance let's start in here so when I go back to the perspective now the target will be the point I define it instead of the center so this is the idea uh, let me just um, any moment I can go back in here allow me to start to the original position and and of course we can also go to the next frame frame by frame by frame on or the initial uh, first frame and the last frame so this is the the functionalities of these icons uh, in this case I'm going just to delete this curve and go back to the point zero 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 for the camera uh, target so I just pick this point and as you can see it will be the center so now um, as we have seen we, we we have the possibility to define any camera uh, traveling so uh, now we are going to see how to define the objects movement it's it's really very similar so for instance if I want to be um, the last frame I want the all the gems so I can select all the gems and I can define okay in the last frame I want all the gems in this position exactly as they are now so I just click on capture keyframe and we will see that in the last frame the gems will be in here of course I can define for instance in the first frame I can define all the gems another position I can move I can rotate uh, in this case I will use the tool uh, gems move up which means that all the gems will follow their its own direction so in this case I can define gems move up uh, let's say 40 millimeters enter and now let's uh, record remember to select the gems and record the the, the position so now it means that all the gems in the first frame are in this position so when I press play now we will see that the gems now are moving from the first frame to the last frame they are changing the position so it's really really easy to define the the uh, animation in here uh, we define the camera we define the objects and the same for all the other objects for instance the ring I can record this this last uh, in this case I have the position in the last frame and I can record this position so I just capture keyframe and uh, of course I can define for the first position I can define uh, for instance let's say I will rotate the ring like this and I will capture the keyframe so which means that now the ring will rotate from the first frame to the last frame of course also the gems and the camera as we defined before so now when I press play we will see the ring is rotating and the gems are moving so this is the workflow this is a very basic example but of course uh, we will see that the there are all the possibility all the possibilities to define more more positions uh, so this is the idea we can define everything uh, in this case just just uh, the first frame and last frame but as you will see that the workflow it's always the same of course there are uh, several other uh, possibilities uh, we can generate uh, the render in this case we have one animation and uh, we can uh, automatically uh, generate the, the the render so if I like this result now I want to create one animation one render for each frame I have all the possibilities in the in the uh, property so uh, in here I can define um, frames per second so in this case by default it's 25 frames per second so which means that I will have uh, 25 renders for each second the time 
it's 10 seconds, which means that the duration from the first frame to the last frame is 10 seconds. Any moment we can change from 10 seconds to 1 minute, 2 minutes or more or less, so it's really easy to define the, the, the time. So this will follow from the, mom the frame 0 to the 10 what time we want to be. Of course I need to turn on the render if I want to to render each frame and uh, of course I need to define the resolution for the for each render which will generate a video with the, the, the defined resolution and of course any moment I click on create video and it will start calculating a render for each frame. Remember just to create a video we need first to define the materials under the render studio so probably it's easier first to use render studio just to define sorry in here the render studio just to define the materials for each object and of course now at the moment I click on create video we have the possibility to uh, to, to define uh, of course uh, realistic uh, uh, photorealistic video and uh, this can uh, um, we can create really really uh, great uh, animations uh, for marketing so um, it can be really really good uh, I would say also that uh, there are there are the possibility to to reset uh, the all the all the steps we define in the animation uh, there are a few more options like uh, we can reverse the video so um, instead of start in 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 one direction go the opposite and of course to going back will generate uh, exactly the same animation but then in the opposite direction it will be like twice the same animation uh, one from one direction in the other to the other direction um i would say that uh, this is uh, almost everything remember all these options allow us to define really really uh, too much uh, too much uh, objects uh, movement uh, camera traveling so we can really generate uh, interesting uh, results uh, in this case as you can see just to show the workflow but uh, this allow us to to generate amazing amazing videos so from keyframe animation it's it's all uh, I believe I, I I've shown everything except the the automatic so uh, the only difference between the automatic uh, and the, the capture keyframe is that when we turn on the automatic when we are moving the camera and the timeline it will automatically uh, record the, the position we have uh, for for the camera or for the objects in this in this uh, in the timeline but uh, if we turn off we need as as I've shown the examples we need to uh, define the position and then capture the keyframe to add the, the the icon to the timeline and define of course the animation so this is the keyframe animation tool I hope uh, you enjoy it and uh, I hope to see amazing videos from from all your uh, jewelry models. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye.